Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for January 12th, 2023. Well, today is the day, the day we've been waiting for, I guess, is the big CPI report. Um, quite a bit of anticipation on it, quite a lot of speculation on it. What does it mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Now, unfortunately, no matter what I say this morning, it's really all going to depend on how we react to these data points coming up here in just a little bit. But let's take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out a little bit about what's going on here. Um, clearly, the Dow remains to the strongest index in the market. If we take a look at our moving averages here, we're up above our 50, our 500, our 200. We're showing lots of bullishness here in that chart. However, we still have this little bit of a complication, and that is that possibility that we could still put in a lower high here in that chart. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that. And today is the day where we'll make maybe make that decision um, whether we're going to uh, continue to push on higher or break down. Today we've got the CPI report and it's highly anticipated. There's a lot of speculation on it that it has dropped significantly and that may be the case. Um, but Boy, it's an awful lot of risk to be jumping ahead of a speeding train like this. So let's take a look. If we were to find bullishness today here in the market, where could we go? Well, looking at this chart, maybe right up into here. And that's a pretty big point move. Now, remember the last CPI report, we actually gapped 800 points here on the Dow and then um, completely reversed and went all the way back down. So what we should be thinking about is some pretty high volatility. It may be very challenging volatility that could occur this morning. And along with that, we could get, you know, get these pretty ugly whipsaws to occur. So be careful rushing first thing into the morning um, in the, that first move because it could easily, easily reverse. Now, taking a look at this chart, if we can push on through that level right in here, then maybe we kind of start challenging some of these little levels right up above that, right in here, across that area. And let's keep in mind that over in here, we're pressing into a heavy, heavy price resistance zone here into the Dow. So you'll want to kind of keep that in mind. But um, right now, the bulls are definitely in control on the diamonds. Now, if we were to see those bears uh, find inspiration, then I would look for a retest back down in here, that breakout of that consolidation retest back in there could be possible it's going to be a big point move if that were to occur and if that doesn't hold then we'd look to drop back down into that consolidation zone here in the chart so watch carefully for that if we take a look at our spy spy has a little bit more question in it however we did break through that 50-day moving average still below our 200-day moving average and unfortunately here in the spy we still remain in a bearish downtrend this anticipation on these numbers and this willingness to jump ahead of it um, is fascinating to me showing us how much speculation there is in this market right now and how much pent-up energy there is if we take a look at where we might go if those bulls get going here today notice we're testing this resistance right here in the chart and that's a fairly substantial resistance but if we pop through there I would suspect maybe a move right up into this area um, would be likely notice we're testing these highs right through here and if I pull this back over here we've got some lows over here that we could test and that would be just a touch higher 
in that move so keep an eye that would be a range in here that would be a big move uh, for the spy today uh, certainly possible and that would be testing up there or um, above that 200 day moving average trying to breach that we do want to remind ourselves though that we've breached that twice recently and then just turned right back around and went down so uh, be kind of careful um, thinking that it's all up and nothing um, particularly at the open we could get a big whipsaw so if the bears find inspiration well I'm gonna pull this back down we've got a little support right in here as you can see right across that level we could find some support right through here if we pull back if those bears find that reason to push and if they um, really get energetic maybe back down here toward that consolidation zone um, beyond that we slip into that consolidation zone which uh, would be a really really ugly day if we take a look at our QQQ QQQ once again our technicals here on the chart still running into some issues here and we're still in a bearish downtrend here in the NASDAQ and I think particularly in the NASDAQ we're going to see some challenges on earnings this quarter so watch that close but we're testing that 50-day moving average here in the chart and if we take a look here at, at price action we're also challenging this price resistance so if those bulls can find inspiration notice we've got a little bit of upside in here that we can test up in here and there's quite a few data points and it's a wide range in here honestly it's not a perfectly tight line but you can see we've got all of these points right through here that could be substantially um, resistance um, to an upside move or resistant to an upside move so watch that closely and then keep in mind that we are still in that downtrend however the anticipation the hope that um, inflation has dropped dramatically and we're going to finally see a fed pivot continues to be high despite the fact that the fed just continues to say over and over and over hey it's not the case we're going to keep raising rates they we may slow them down but we're going to keep raising rates and we're going to keep them up here for a while so watch that close um, anything is possible here today now if those bears if those bears find inspiration well maybe a push back down into here is what we're looking for uh, that little consolidation breakout here um, so watch carefully for there and if that fails well then i think we're pushing back and down here toward the lows so watch that carefully and our iwm um, has been the strongest mover here just lately in the market um, which is continuing to be um, little bit perplexing to me honestly but when we look at the overall um, trend here in the chart you know if we draw from up here we're just drawing right a line right along that area you could draw from here and also do the same thing so we have a pretty substantial resistance level above um, IWM was the only index in this last move lower that created the lower high followed by the lower low and now we're completely reversing that in this anticipation um, uh, that we're suddenly going to be bullish so watch that closely here in that chart now if those bulls find inspiration you'll notice we've already kind of breached through that resistance right in here today and we're a little bit on the stretched outside here but if we can push more then maybe a push right up into that last lower high would be the likely place here in the chart and if you look at our moving averages that's would be a follow-through and break above that 200 day notice our moving averages are all on the wrong side of each other so if we get a reversal here that could be ugly now if we take a look if those bears find inspiration well maybe a push back into some of these little support levels right through here might be the logical place we go if we move on lower then we're back trying uh, above this choppy consolidation zone here in the market interestingly enough yesterday while we're our markets were moving up showing that we don't care we think it's going to be a great report we're all excited about it at the same time the VIX went up so we've had some very odd moves here in the VIX lately and um, that's trying to reclaim that little upside trend here in the market we we get 
um, uh, odd, odd price moves here in uh, the VIX. And I think one of the reasons we're doing that is volume has been relatively low. So there's a support level in here we'll want to watch if those bulls find inspiration and break that upside trend. Um, um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. If the bears find inspiration, watch this resistance level here. If they were to break above there, that's where we would probably see a little bit of pain come into the market. So watch that carefully. And honestly, I have no idea which way it's going to go. I, I honestly think it's like a coin toss today. Um, it's like flipping a, flipping a quarter and trying to pick heads or tails as to how the market may react today. And I think the same for tomorrow. So unfortunately, it's just way too much gambling for me. Um, there, there's really not much edge here. Um, on that thinking. It's just all speculation that report's going to be good, report's going to be bad, the, the earnings are going to be good, the earnings are going to be bad. It's just all speculation and there's no edge in that move. And unfortunately, I think a lot of people are going to get hurt, whether they're bullish or bearish um, today um, and tomorrow with that speculation. So be really, really careful about how you approach the market today. If we take a look at our T2122, I know our, uh, we're anticipating a, a big decline in um, our CPI number and that inflation rating. But if we were to get that big number, um, well, you want to take note here that we're already pressed up here into the bearish reversal zone of T2122. Now, remember, we can linger up the, here and we can even peg this up here um, at 100. We've done that before. Um, but uh, we are getting kind of stretched out here in the short term um, run to the upside. So watch that closely. If those bears were to find inspiration today well just understand they've opened up a big opportunity for a downside move um, upside opportunity here in t2122 is not so good but remember big news events can push that on higher um, so I can't say that we can't go higher. I wouldn't say that, that we can't go higher. I think there is that possibility, but you just want to keep in mind that we are up here in that bearish reversal zone um, where we could get, you know, that big potential move to the downside as well. So watch that close. Our T2108 continues to perform really, really well. Moving up, notice that we've broken through um, or held on and broke through that resistance level in the chart. Now, I, I, do, I will point out that we're pushing up here pretty strongly. 67% um, of the stocks above their 40-day uh, moving average. And you'll notice all across here, there's a lot of peaks across that area. And this is where we reach kind of that overbought condition in the market and those reversals can come in. This is where we hit extreme levels. And that's where we look for very substantial pullbacks to occur all at once. So watch that closely. We're reaching that upper range here in T2108 in anticipation of these numbers. If we take a look at T2107, um, same thing is true. Um, T2107 continues to push higher. As a matter of fact, we broke right through the last high here in T2107 as the stocks coming up through the 200-day uh, moving average are increasing. 52% of those stocks are up. So you'll want to notice that we're also running into a major congestion area in price action here on that chart. But you've got to give both of these up to the bulls. Um, T2101. I'm going to continue to, uh, I'll show it, but um, I think it's still very confused on the lighter volume that we've seen here. Um, and um, I'm not sure it's giving us good quality information on the momentum here in the market. So um, just be careful of that. And then if we take a look at our economic calendar here for today, well, our economic calendar, we've got a few things to be paying attention to. Obviously, I've been talking about it this morning, but it's not just the CPI. We're going to get that CPI reading before the bell and all the reactions. So that's why I said uh, early on, no matter what I say, yeah, everything can change here really quickly um, as these reports come out. And then we're going to get the jobless claims. Remember, jobless claims have been problematic for us here um, overall. Um, we've, we're not seeing um, that um, 
those jobs come down um, like we should. Now we've heard a lot of a lay layoffs um, this week uh, coming um, from companies. So wa watch that. If that number starts to creep up, that would be bullish uh, for the market. That would uh, show the Fed that their um, actions are working and they're starting to bring down or slow down the economy and beat that inflation out of the market. So both of these heavy hitters could be big moving um, reports today. Um, then we've got a natural gas report. Um, later on in the day, we've got a Treasury statement and we've got a Fed uh, balance sheet. I don't think anybody's really going to be paying attention to those. We've got a 30-year a bond auction and we've got some Fed speakers. But the reason I think not too many folks are going to be thinking about those is I think they're going to immediately be turning their attention to Friday and the big bank reports and how those may come out. And I just don't know how the market is feeling about that. There's, um, I think, an awful lot of uncertainty um, heading into those reports. And then remember, we get those reports and we slide into a three-day weekend. So whew, we've got um, a wild one here for the next couple of days. So be very, very careful. If we take a look at our earnings calendar, well, our earnings calendar, we had so we've got some really teeny tiny small caps um, reporting today, but overall there's only a couple of reports that have any notability today. First being INFY, and INFY is reported this morning and trying to see that bullishness coming in here in the market. Now you want to keep in mind overall it's in a downtrend, but if you squint a little bit, you can see that possibility that maybe what we're doing is trying to form an inverted head and shoulders pattern on INFY. So keep an eye on that. And then TSM. TSM is something I have been watching and paying attention to. TSM has already reported this morning trying to see some bullishness coming into that chart. This is one that I have been really wanting to uh, pick up. And if you take a look in here, you could um, also see that potential inverted head and shoulders pattern coming into play. So this earnings report being good may set up that opportunity for me to pick up a position here. And by the way, I think this position would likely be a longer term hold for me. So a um, little resting pullback in here so would set up that opportunity. So watch close on TSM. Then let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Help That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. I apologize I missed yesterday in answering those. I did read them, but I didn't get a chance to answer them yesterday. Um, I'll be back on the case here today. Um, you know, uh, these videos are not meant to be predicting anything. They're not meant to be um, trying to provide um, lots of speculation or um, um, hype in the market. And if you think that that is useful to you, if you could please share that out on your social media as well, um, I would truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks setting up. And um, please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, you need to do your own due diligence. You need to be very, very careful in your trading. You need to, particularly on days like this, be considering the risk of the high volatility that's likely to occur over the next couple of days if you're thinking about trading. But some stocks maybe for your watch list, things you might want to be paying attention to. This OKTA, although it's pulling back here the last three days, been holding in here pretty good. If we can hold this price support in here, might be worth paying attention to to see if that can move on higher here. Some simple defensive sector stocks, um, um, kind of old boring stocks are still looking really good. Take a look at AT&T in here. Now I know it's boring and I know it doesn't move very fast, but it's also not showing the massive risk and the massive whipsaws that we're seeing um, in other charts. So it may be a little bit of a safe play, a good dividend paying play if you want to buy the stock itself. Keep an eye on that. You can also see the same kind of thing, a good bullish move 
in uh, Verizon. Verizon um, has pushed up nicely here, getting a little resting pullback that could set up an opportunity here in that chart. You know, I have been mentioning over and over and over for some time now um, uh, things in the metals. Take a look at um, 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 gold. GLD has been unbelievably strong and continuing to push to the upside. I think it's that uncertainty and uncertainty on the US dollar, uh, that weakening dollar that's continuing to make this move higher, uncertainty on all these earnings and what the big bank reports are going to be. Um, um, so watch that closely. Gold has been incredibly strong and continues to run to the upside. And you guys know I've been shouting about gold since all the way over here uh, to be watching that. So Silver also very, very strong, um, has pulled back here just a little bit recently, needed a rest. I think gold needs a rest um, um, in here, but a little rest or pullback and then look for that next opportunity there in gold. If you take a look at copper, holy moly, copper has just been ripping to the upside. It's looking a little bit lower here this morning on copper itself, but you can see some of these copper stocks are still looking very, very strong. And we've been talking about these as well. So watch those closely. And I have to put into that um, um, things in steel. Wow, look at MT here. Beautiful upside move. Very, very strong in these commodities. Um, anything in that metals area seems to be doing pretty darn well. Even aluminum uh, making a nice move to the upside. So watch those closely. So with that, guys, there's a few things for you to pay attention to for the long side. On the short side, you know, I think we can have to continue looking at... Um, some of these big techs as they rally back into these resistance zones in here in these charts. I think there is significant danger coming up in their earnings reports. Um, watch for that potential where we could start to see failures in, in some of these if, um, if those earnings prove to be poor. And it just seems like there's a high likelihood that would be the case. Now, I, I'm just, I don't know that to be true, so take it for what it's worth. Um, I think there's challenges ahead in some of these big techs, so watch them closely. And as we see some of them um, really trying to move up here uh, recently, um, keeping in mind that there's still lots of resistance above downtrends that they're still dealing with and that possibility that we can run into those points of resistance and roll back over. So watch those closely. So everyone, I want to wish you all a wonderful day. Be safe out there today. This morning, the next couple of days are going to be um, anything possible. Um, no matter what you think about the market, you could easily be disappointed if you overtrade. So um, my suggestion is to set back, take a breath, try not to get caught up in the fear of missing out, watch it closely, make very wise business focused decisions rather than emotional um, racing and chasing decisions. Um, I want to wish you all the best of success and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care. Everybody.